Hi all, I am Manu Bini. In this video, we are trying to explain the application of simulated annealing optimization algorithm for traveling salesman program. For this project, we have taken real life data provided by the logistics company in Qatar. So let me get into the details. Optimization is important in all branches of engineering due to limited available resources. By optimizing processes, maximum usage can be achieved. Finding an optimal solution for certain problems can be extremely difficult, often practically impossible. This is because as a problem becomes large, we need to search through a large number of possible solutions to find the optimal one. Even with advanced computing power, there are still too many possible solutions and we can't realistically expect to find the optimal one in sensible length of time and often would have to settle for something close enough. An example of an optimization problem is this traveling salesman problem. In order to solve such optimization problems, we require algorithms to help us obtain an optimal solution in reasonable amount of time. One such algorithm is the simulated annealing. The simulated annealing algorithm originally inspired by the process of annealing metalwork. Annealing involves heating and cooling a material to alter its physical properties due to change in its internal structure. As the metal cools down, its structure gets fixed to a new state with newly obtained properties. In simulated annealing process, we keep a temperature variable to simulate the heating process. We initially set it to high and allow it to cool as the algorithm runs. While this temperature variable is high, the algorithm will be allowed with more frequency to accept solutions that are worse than our current solution. Let me explain this with this following graph. In this graph, the minimal point is at point number 5. Initially, the algorithm checks for the minimal uh, for the neighboring solutions. Initially, the uh, program will be at position number 1. And number 2 will be the local minimum. When it reaches the local minima, towards the left and right, the neighboring solutions are worse. So based on the following equation, it decides whether to go to the neighboring solution or not. If the neighboring solution is better, it will accept the solution. Else, it will check based on the equation E raised to delta C by T, where delta C is all energy minus new energy. And here, for our project, energy is the distance. Distance is taken as objective function and we are trying to minimize the function. Further explanation uh, I will give when while running the code in the Python. Next we shall uh, look at the Python code. We are using Google Colab for running this program. So this is the program for doing the travel assessment in uh, simulated using simulated annealing algorithm. So here we define a class simulated annealing and the initial temperature uh, is set as 1 and terminal temperature as 0 0.0001 and we have set the cooling rate as 0 0.99. Then we have defined a variable uh, trip as well as trip neighbor to check for the neighboring solutions and the current solution. Then we have defined another variable called state evolution to uh, save the values of iterations like the combination of the cities and two variables for uh, distance metrics and lat latitude longitude metrics then in the defined problem we pass the cities as uh, string and these are saved into the variable called trip and we also shuffle the uh, cities in this trip as well then we use retrieve lat long for city the function is used using GeoPy, connecting with OpenStreetMaps, and we retrieve the latitude and longitude from of the cities that we pass in this defined problem. Then we also there's another another function retrieve distance between cities so that uh, distance distances between the two cities can be calculated. This is also done online from OpenStreetMap using the GeoPy. Then we using uh, in this function make clack long. Uh, we create the uh, latitude longitude metrics and in make distance function we create the distance metrics so these are the input data we require for running this program uh, we require distance metrics for uh, annealing the problem and we need the latitude longitude metrics for visualization so let's get to the main functions uh, important functions first one is energy so i have said that if, for our project the energy is distance for us 
means we are uh, our objective function is the distance and we are trying to minimize the objective function so we define an energy where it returns the journey distance of the trip uh, trip is a variable as i said uh, with the cities being passed as string and the, it is calculated from this distance matrix then the acceptance probability as i shown in the equation e raised to delta c by d where delta c is the change in energy and t is the temperature of the variable we have set so um, we can see that uh, it returns exponential of energy old minus energy new by temperature then there's another function for generating neighbor likewise uh, at current position the program will be at a solution and you will check for the neighboring solutions by switching two cities so that's what's happening in this function and that combination is saved in the variable trip neighbor so then we then coming to the annealing function uh, there are two loops first loop is to for the iteration of changing temperature from 1 to 0. 0.0001 with the cooling rate uh, as defined as 0.99 then in the inside loop uh, it can be based on uh, several parameters and here we have used the range in length of the trip means the number of cities that we have uh, we are passing and then we generate the neighbor and we calculate the distance of the current solution and it's saved in energy old and as well as the dis uh, distance of the neighboring solution is saved in energy new so that we can calculate this e raised to delta c by t and if the acceptance probability is greater than a random dot random function that is it returns or it's always returns a random value between 0 and 1 so if the neighboring solution is worse it will calculate this acceptance probability and will and it checks with random dot random and if the probability is higher it will accept that worse solution so as the temp initially the temperature will be high and temperature will be uh, cooling as uh, as per the cooling rate so initially the program will accept worse solutions but as it cools down it will accept it will only accept uh, better solutions so that's how the program works so it will change the uh, value of the trip variable trip with trip neighbor so when the neighboring solution is better it will accept directly because the value will be always greater than one if it's less than one it will uh, check this acceptance probability and if the probability is higher it will accept the value of the neighbor as a current trip and as i said in the state evolution we append all the combinations all the iterations that happen and i have also defined an uh, equal, uh, function called energy path where we can fi find the distance of each iterations uh, uh, distance of the uh, distance of cities from each iteration next part is a visualization code uh, in this visualization code we can uh, visualize each uh, each state of the state evolution and we can uh, create a gif jf image so let's run this program now we are defining the object as t t equal to simulator annealing simulator annealing is a class so t is the object now we are uh, de defining the problem so these are the locations these are the lo locations from Qatar as we obtained from the company and trip sheets. So there are 19 different locations in the Qatar. So we are calling the define problem function. Now we are calling the make distance. Uh, when calling this function, the program connects with the uh, GeoPy and calculates the distance between each cities as it's being displayed so it's this is for uh, formulating the distance matrix
So while this is running, we can write for the code to display this distance matrix after it's completed. So it's taking this much time because of the 19 locations. So once we have created the distance matrix, we can either call directly to the program. So it won't take this much time. This is connecting with the open street maps and calculating the distance between these cities. So I shall display the distance matrix, which is t dot distances. So this is the distance matrix. We can see it's a symmetric matrix, like the normal values are zero. So this distance matrix shows the distance between two cities, uh, each and every cities, distance between each and every cities. So it's a 19 by 19 matrix, as shown. Then we shall call the make lat long to create the latitude longitude matrix. Uh, I shall display the lat latitude longitude matrix, which essentially shows the latitude and the longitude of each of these locations. Now let's anneal the function. It takes time. Let me skip to the end. It has completed the annealing function and this set of combination is the optimal solution starting from dolphin energy gas plant to aspire park in Qatar. So let's run this energy path to see how much iterations as well as the distance of the uh, distance in each iterations. So we can see that for each combination of cities, the distance is displayed. It starts from 930.45 kilometers and then it's as the algorithm cools down it reaches to a solution of 423 kilometer. 423 kilometer, which is the optimal solution that it finds. Now let's visualize this states. So when you visualize, uh, we obtain images of each of these iterations. And we have saved this in a file and as a PNG file, so we can so as the line changes, it's finding new neighboring solutions and it uh, finally finds the optimal solution, which is at 423 kilometers. So this is the program. This is the state which shows the final optimal solution. So this is the program for running simulated annealing for traveling salesman program for finding minimal solution. Thank you.